Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. How are y'all doing today? I know I am on a roll, honey. I am just cranking these videos. Your girl trying to make sure that she's on schedule because it's vacation about to be on and popping and I want to make sure that I have enough content for why I'm out there on the beach in my two-piece. I hope y'all don't get tired of me because your girl trying to make sure she got a video almost every day. If y'all here for it, I'm definitely here for it. So comment down below and let me know if you here for the everyday video, honey. Let me know if you're here for it. is the best and the worst of the Vince Camuto fragrances you guys I was gonna go in and do perfume reviews on each fragrance but honey that's gonna take forever okay cuz I, I just feel like okay I did do a review on Vince Camuto's Davina which I will leave a card here if you have not checked out the Vince Camuto's Davina review that was the newest release from Vince Camuto I love Vince Camuto's fragrance line so much honey I just had to collect the whole all of them y'all so I do have all eight of Vince Camuto fragrances right here in front of me that we just gonna do a little short mini review and I'm gonna let you know which ones you should buy and which ones you should just stay completely away from okay honey cuz I feel some type of way about some of these uh, fragrances and in my last video well the video before the last video because I got so many coming out y'all but the last one before the last one okay which was my regrets and it is Bella if you have not checked out that video make sure stop this video and make sure you go and you watch the regret video because I really really let you know how I felt about Bella but honey if you don't feel like doing that, I'll just, I'll just repeat her in line because I'm going to show you guys in order of which they came out. That's how I'm going to talk about them. So let me put her on down and grab the first one. And the first fragrance from the Vince Camuto line of the female fragrances was the original, the signature Vince Camuto. Okay, and I only have this in the one ounce little bottle, you guys. As you can see, this bottle is full. Okay, I'm going to tell you why it's full because your girl sprayed this two times, twice. And this is a no ma'am, you guys. When you smell it out of the bottle, it's really nice. It's, it's a very mature. It's a nice, more luxurious scent. They wanted to have their first fragrance as being like a signature scent. And you guys, I'm here to tell you right now, I sprayed this on my skin. No ma'am, okay? This turned nasty on my skin. I do not care for this scent. And I apologize to anyone out there that loves this, okay? Honey, on this channel, we can agree to disagree, okay? Perfumes are very personal, and it may be something I like, it may be something you like, or something that I like, you dislike, that's okay. We're discovering fragrances. And right here, this 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 is done being discovered on my channel here because she is definitely going in that pile, but this is, in my opinion right now, one of the worst from Miss Camuto, okay? I'm just gonna be honest here and I'm gonna let y'all know, so. But like, when I first sprayed this on my skin, I wasn't too disappointed. It's just, honey, what this dried down to. I had to hurry up and try to scrub this off. This does not mix well with my body chemistry, and that's okay, okay? But she is definitely one of them ones that's gonna go in that special pile I was telling y'all about, okay? So stay tuned for that. I will have to say, for this original, I would give this a one star out of five, honey. That's how much I don't really care for this, but when I first bought this, I actually was like, oh, it's nice, I like it. Smelling it out of the top, but honey, once you spray this, this just takes on a whole nother identity, okay? So, a one out of five for this one. This is the original, this is the signature, and this is Vince Camuto. Okay, and the next fragrance that was released from Vince Camuto was a Femme. You guys, I know I said I was going to do a review on this, but honey, I, mm, I just decided to do a collection video as opposed to doing just an individual review because this fragrance is kind of old. It was just more appropriate just to do a collection video. And this is a Femme. And it has that signature Vince Camuto medallion right in the middle. And this was the only bottle from his line that he, he made like this. You guys, this would have been a pretty bottle if it just looked like the original bottles. Like this, okay? And it's just had like a pink, uh, I mean a little purple. Because this is like a soft lavender. It would have been pretty if this was like lavender, you know, and silver. Like, but with this design, that would have been really, really nice. But... You know, whatever. But, okay, now for the scent, you guys, this is a very citrusy scent. And this is almost like a Shypri. It has, like, oak moss, okay? And oak moss is a very peculiar type of scent. So, 
I think the ingredients that was added in this fragrance made this more kind of leaning towards a luxurious type of scent. It is a very nice citrusy scent. So it is pretty, but this dry down, I don't like the dry down in this. And I remember, I was trying to remember why, because I, I actually bought the little rollerball kit that came with three rollerballs, which was Fiori, Amori, and this Femme. So I did wear it in a rollerball, but it's just something about you spraying it on your skin that I do prefer. So when I seen this on clearance, I just decided to pick it up and give it another chance because I did like it from the rollerball. So I just wanted to actually have the full bottle in my collection, so I got it. But I would have to say, it almost kind of smells unisex too, like a man could actually wear this as well. It's, it's kind of giving those vibes, but I was, I'm not going to say I won't wear this. I will wear this. I did actually wear this to work. I did test it, you guys. I actually wore it. And I would just say, I don't like the dry down. Okay, but the, the beginning stages of this is really, really pretty. It's elegant. Okay, but that oak moss and the end and the dry down is just nasty. Okay, I just, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. And uh, uh, again, I apologize to anybody that's offended that loves this this Komodo Femme, okay? But Femme is a no ma'am for me. You can probably get away with this if you just like spread in the air and you kind of walk in it and that's it. You know, and it, it, it leaves like a nice trail of citrus, which is really pretty, but that dry down. I can't I can't get over the dry over the oak moss in this. Y'all, that oak moss is just nasty. I'm sorry, but I'm just not a lover of that type of that note. So Viscomoodle's film is going to have to be, I would give this a two because I really do like the beginning stages of this, but I just do not care for the, the dry down. This is not for me. So if you're on the fence with this Viscomoodle film, I would definitely say do not blind buy this. Smell it first, okay, girl? If you can't smell it, don't even think about putting this in your shopping cart, okay? This is one of the ones you definitely have to smell first. And I would give her this one a two out of five. The first is the worst, okay? The first fragrance from Visco Moodle to me is the worst, okay? So this one we gonna go in, and this one is gonna be a two out of five stars. Okay, and this next one from Vince Camuto is a Fiori. Now, this is when they went back to the original design. And honey, I think they had to try to rebound or recoup from them last two fragrances, okay? And they brought out something that was a little bit more softer, a little bit more floral, more sweeter. It's like a sweet floral, okay? I think they went ahead and they tried to um, come in with a different approach with this one. But I would have to say, you guys, this scent is beautiful, okay? Now, this is so pretty. And I, I, honestly, I think this kind of smells like Chanel Chances or Tundra. I think this is what this really smells like to me. I think they kind of rebounded very, very well from the first two fragrances, okay? They came back and this Fiori is really nice and the packaging was nice with the medallion. This is an absolutely gorgeous bottle and I would have to give this Fiori. Now, as far as like lasting power longevity, I would have to say that this doesn't last for a very long time. I would give this at most four hours, you guys, and you would have to reapply. And this is an Eau de Parfum. Oh, I'm so sorry you guys the other fragrances the first two fragrances from Viscomoodle are all the perfumes I think all of these fragrances are all the perfume okay so this Fiori smells wonderful okay so on the scale of one to five I would definitely give this Fiori a four you guys she ranks high for me from this line I love this one and I think that Miss Camuto did a wonderful job with Fiori. So, and Fiori is also a fragrance that you can blind buy where you don't have to worry about it just it just, it just being a nasty scent because it it's it's very pleasant. It's very easy to wear. It's good for daytime, it's good for if you really like these softer scents, hell, you can wear it. This is good for any time of the day. You can wear this at any time. I wouldn't recommend it in the winter time, honey, because this scent won't last. It's, it's not strong enough to last in the winter months, but this is a perfect spring and summer scent. And this is Fiori, and she is a four out of five for me. And the next one they came out with is Amore. Amore for, followed the same design as the first one and as Fiori. Same bottle design, just this one is just silver top and a um, like a reddish rib, a red ribbon. And you guys, this one I think followed the same type of DNA as Fiori. But this one is a lot more fruitier, okay? You have like, you have a fruits in this, passion fruit, I believe. This this is really, really nice. This is really, really nice. This one, you guys, lasts longer than Fiori as well. But you do kind of got to go ham a little bit on the spray of this. These Viscomodo fragrances, you got to kind of, you kind of got to go heavy on the spray, anywhere from 8 to 10 and stuff like that. But I love this scent. This is very fruity, very sweet, very 
musky it has a little bit of a musky scent to it um you guys this is really really pretty and this Komodo did a very very good job on this one so this is this ranks high for me and i would definitely give this one you guys i would give it a four okay so amora is a four this is one of the better ones from the collection because i haven't smelled anything that's identical to this scent yet but there are a lot of fruity floral perfumes out there but this one is really really nice and you can also find this one at a very good price right now because it's been quite some time since this since this was released but this is amore and she is definitely a four out of five very pretty fragrance from vince Camuda. This one is Bella, and this is the one I put in my regrets video, so obviously you know that this isn't one of my favorite ones from the collection. Now, it's not one of my favorite ones, not because of the scent, but because of the lasting power. I don't know what is going on with this Bella. You guys, it does smell really, really pretty and ambery. This smells like ambery to me. This really, this just smells warm, so this does stray away from like Fiori and from a more but it is kind of one of those softer type of scents it is a pretty scent but i don't know what's going on with this and this one is more warmer than than the other one so i initially thought that this would really really do good like in right before it warmed up i thought that i would be able to wear this because of it being ambery or because of it being kind of warm that this would last on me i mean this perfume i don't know what's going on with this one i don't know if i got a bad bottle but i ordered these from a very very reputable source you guys i ordered these from perfume.com so i knew that these are authentic you got as a matter of fact i think i may have ordered this from fragrance net i don't remember but i i, I usually alternate between fragrance net and perfume.com when i'm getting these designer fragrances you guys i didn't buy this brand new because by the time i actually was inquiring with these scents this one had already been out for a couple years so yes i don't know what's going on with this bella but she is definitely going in that special pile that i've been telling y'all about but to give her a rating i would give her a three out of five and a three out of five is not bad for me it just is just something went wrong with it okay not where it was nasty or anything like that but more or less like i don't know what's going on with the with the staying power and with this with this perfume but it does smell really really pretty i would definitely say it is a mat a mature floral scent but a very elegant, pretty, bright type of fragrance. It's, and it's very warm. If you love warm base fragrances, this is definitely a one that you would really, really like. And it's not candy sweet. It's more floral sweet. But it's, it's really, really nice. Okay. But I'm going on with that lasting power. But again, this is Bella's. It's Camuto's Bella. Okay. And this next one is Capri. And I just featured Capri in one of... Um, in one of my videos and I absolutely I absolutely really really enjoy Capri Capri is really really nice you guys it's kind of aquatic this has like a little bit of an aquatic smell to it and it has peach blossom you guys it smells really really peachy not like like the actual like edible peach but more like a floral peach okay this is really really pretty and it also has violet in it that gives it that little bit of powderiness so this one is the most powderiest one out of all of this little fragrances so none of these fragrances smell the same and this is a, this could be a hit or miss for a person if you if you really don't like powdery scents you won't like this but this leans more on the powdery scent and this does carry in the warmer weather you guys this I tried this when I first got it and it was too cold outside and it didn't survive but when I wore this when it warmed up oh my god this is so nice so I really really do like this Capri and it's I don't know if the glass is is like a soft blue or if the juice is blue but it has a silver medallion and I think it's the glass that's blue and the top is silver it's such a pretty pretty concept and color design for capri and it, it kind of is reminiscent of like water you guys so you know capri was an island a mediterranean island so and it, for the blue water so i do understand where they came came from with this idea for this bottle but i would give capri definitely a five out of five capri is that pretty to me it's not the best one from the line but it's definitely a contender so but this this is high for me and again this is capri and this next one, honey, I have featured this already, and I've talked about this, and I also featured this, I believe, I put this in, I can't remember, it's been so many videos, but this is Child by Vince Camuto, y'all, let me just fall back in my seat, okay, because this fragrance right here, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, this is the best of the collection to me, this is the best, because this is the fruitiest okay this has patchouli in it but this patchouli is so pretty and it smells like straight strawberries and blackberries you can smell strawberry and blackberry and patchouli and i absolutely love this scent this 
and I spray you guys I spray 10 sprays of this and when I tell you okay I got compliments as soon as I got to work people love this sit on me they was like what are you wearing Rhonda I was wearing this child and you guys this is so pretty this may be a hit or miss for people but this is really fruity it's it's a mature fruit though it's a mature strawberry and blackberry scent very pretty and it lasts and it lingers this is gorgeous and she I mean and she's pink who doesn't love pink okay she's pink and she's absolutely gorgeous I love this scent and this is child and this is the best from the collection in my opinion okay smells beautiful 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 five out of five child last and definitely not least is Davina and you guys I just did a review not too long ago I will leave a card here if you have not checked out the review of Davina okay I just did a review on Davina and she is this bright yellow color it's bright yellow gold packaging is so so pretty and I'm just gonna sum this up really really quickly you guys but this is not the best I, I'm just gonna let you guys know I really do like this the grapefruit in this but this is very floral if you are not a lover of floral scents the fruit will not save this scent even though the, the grapefruit in this is so realistic you can that's what you smell grapefruit okay and the flowers on this smells very very sun drenched that is so true in the description and the flowers in this is mimosa you guys and I will let you guys know this is newly released so this is not discounted yet you're gonna pay full price for this but this to me there is another fragrance that smells very similar to this and it is the Vera Bradley you guys they had those floating around TJ Maxx and uh, Marshalls and stuff it's the Vera Bradley. It's the Citrus Mimosa. This smells just like that. Guys, when I smelled this, I almost fell out in the store. Like, are you kidding me? I would have just bought that as opposed to spending $80 on this one. But it's the same scent. And it's very, very floral. It's very sunflower-ish. If you love sunflowers from Elizabeth Arden, you or Elizabeth Taylor, Elizabeth Arden, whoever, one of the name, y'all. Because I, I don't own none of them fragrances. So, I had sunflowers a long time ago, but I don't remember who made it, okay? But... This Davina smells just like sunflowers, but a more fruitier version. I really, really went in depth and detail with this scent on the review, so definitely check that out if you have not checked that out. But this, I would give this a 4 out of 5. So, to sum up the best and the worst of the Vince Camuto fragrances, I would have to say the worst is the first one, which is the signature. In my opinion, that one is nasty. So, in the beginning, it's very nice. It smells really um elegant it's, it smells really expensive it's it smells it's, but it's very mature so if you love those type of scents you would actually like that and but not for me no ma'am and the best to me is child from Vince Camuto because I love the strawberry and blackberry scent in that that is my opinion and I hope you guys if you have not tried any of these Vince Camuto fragrances you definitely go out and try them this does sum up my video I really really thank you so much for tuning in and make sure to subscribe if you have not already subscribed on your way out thumbs up this video if you loved it and I hope to see you in my next video